Hey everybody, want to do a quick layout update, uh, pardon the mess, because this is still a work in progress. I have it flipped around right now, so the view that you have, the angle that you have, is what I would see when I'm at shows. Um, so this is a, I guess a behind the scenes, <laughs> if you want to call it that, because not too many people get to see this view, just because people don't go around the back of my layout, because that's where I sit. So, as you can see, I'm getting a whole bunch more trees done and everything. I'll stand up and give you a little bit of a better view. I do have a few trees left that are extra that I'm going to place as I'm filling things in and everything just to make it look a little nicer or to cover up some spots. You can see I still have some work to do there planting some trees, a driveway to put in for that house. I'm going to have to redo all my lights because I had them working and then they blew up. So I'm going to wind up having to get the Woodland Scenics thing. I think I have a guy to track down that might be able to help or might be able to get that to donate to the layout. I'm not sure. Um, I know I still need to get the traffic light controller I'm still waiting on the fourth traffic light to come in, being that the one was broken when I got it. There's the uh, crossing signals working. Kind of hard to see because it is kind of bright in here, but if I sit down, you can see that both sides do flash. There's my property. I still have to put the driveway in yet. And there's Matt Whitaker's property. I got to put the parking in for the Whitaker Orange Juice Factory. And I've got the two crossing signals over there that work. I've got them hooked up to a toggle switch right now. Um, I'm thinking about hooking the toggle switch up to the actual power supply instead of the way I have it hooked up right now because it's battery operated. Um, I'll take a dive under the layout here and show you what I mean. This is what controls my crossing lights. And right now the toggle switch is hooked up. That's off. You can see they are off. And that's on. They are on. So the idea is instead of hooking it up to this, I want to hook it up to this. That way, when I turn it off, I don't have to unplug the batteries. Because right now, they're still giving the, the adjuster some voltage. So I want to change that around a little bit until I do. Um, this is just how I have it set up for now, and it works. And that's all that matters. Pardon the shakiness as I stand up. But, yeah. Getting quite a bit done. Not completely sold on this arrangement here I'm getting some sidewalks put on or at least the general idea of sidewalks I'll be working on those um, shortly once I get some other portions of the scenery done I got figure skaters and ice skaters and stuff to put on the lake because this is a winter themed layout uh, most of the block signals and stuff are gonna be they're gonna disappear with the exception of two of them up there just to control mainline one and mainline two because of the positioning of the trains that i'm going to be running if i sit down here i do have track power and right now the switch is thrown so it gives power i got to work on that a little bit because it just does not like that area it might be a little dirty but that switch is supposed to direct the power that way i can still have an engine on here sitting dormant back there my shay and then i can still run this one around on track two and then I could run it out to the main line if I wanted to. 
And then while it's running around on the main line, I could throw this switch back here and get the Shea moving. Which I'm not going to do right now because it has been a royal mess trying to relay that track and everything to where these will both fit and be able to pass each other in and out of that little siding area. You can see I've got a road marked out and everything. That little light there, the dwarf signal, it will work with the direction of the switch. Um, I'm not quite sure how I want to work that one. I need to re-throw this switch here before I pull the train too much further forward or I'll derail it again. There we go. So like I said, that little dwarf signal there, it will work. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I might wind up putting them a little further back, one on each side. So when one's green, the other one's red and it would just signal which track is live. For example, right now, the track to the left is live. So I can back this train in. And it just ever so closely clears. Got to fix that tree. But it ever so closely clears that Shea sitting back there. And I mean, it's close. I spent about three hours last night trying to fix that. It was real fun. But, let me show you here, if I flip this switch, and then, like I said, it'll control those lights. Now that I've got the Shea oiled up, I had a club friend come over yesterday, and he brought some oil so I could grease and oil the Shea so I can run it around a little bit. There. That way I've got it running around. And then, like I said, I could move it out to mainline one if I wanted to, and then run two trains at the same time. Even though right now, mainline one and mainline two are controlled by the same thing, eventually I'm going to put another control on here to be able to switch that. So what I can do is stop track one or stop track two, whatever I want to do, and have it to where I can run them both at the same time or not, but that way I'm not using the same controller, being that one runs at a different speed, just because the Shea's slower, obviously. But, like I said, that's the plan, is maybe putting the other innovator on here once I get a better system hooked up for the floor, I don't know. But, um... That's the update I have for y'all. Hope you enjoy seeing this little Shea running around. Brand new. I can't believe I got that thing brand new. It didn't have any of the detail parts put on it or anything. And for the price I got. But we'll stop it and back it up into the siding again. And then there's going to be a lot of work. Oh, I got to rethrow that switch. There's going to be a lot of work done on here for um, the outer portion of the layout. I'm going to have new backdrops put on with one by fours. And then the front and everything's going to have a nice skirting on it. So it looks nicer and everything. Um, I do like the way it looked at the last show that I was, not the last, well, yeah, the last two shows I was at. I do like the way it looked and it ran real nice. But it was just one of those things that I can do much nicer with, um, push that back. I can do much nicer with the skirting and everything, and I have a really neat idea for something I want to try with that, so that'll be a work in progress 
uh, like I, the one by four will just bolt right on or clamp right on to the board because there is room. As you can see, the board is not flush with the layout, which I like because then I can just put clamps on here. And then the backdrop would stand up about a foot, foot and a half maybe, and go three quarters of the way around. The skirt would go three quarters of the way around. Uh, I'd be up there on the front and then both sides. And then the backdrop would be like on that side there. And it would, it would angle down the backdrop would. So I wouldn't have the backdrop at a full like 18 inches at the front. Um, it'd be more like just over top of those trees and then angle up to about 12 to 18. And it might wave across the back and then angle back down towards the front. But it also gives more for the uh, crossing lights because they are hard to see that they're on when you're standing up and at a show where it's nice and bright. It can be a little hard to see stuff like that. So that's another reason why I want to add backdrop and skirting and stuff to kind of try to darken the layout a little more and all that so anyhow just wanted to show you guys a quick little update of the layout and yet again ask if anybody can help out um i'm yeah i i need the traffic light controller and it, this has been a complete remodel and i had i had this the buildings and stuff fortunately to do this but everything else it's getting really hard to get a hold of anything to be able to do much on this i had to use a uh, spare piece of track to expand that back there where the red cars are and as you can see i'm gonna have to re-ballast and, and do some more stuff there because i had to modify that to be able to fit both trains um and everything so if, if anybody has anything they could donate or has it a nice price or whatever i greatly appreciate any help i can i'd love to be able to get this layout around for the ashton county fair in september but i don't think it would make that show yet at least not right now um i know with what i'm able to do i'll probably be lucky to make the show in january so I hope you all enjoyed seeing those two trains run a lap around the track and seeing what I've done with the Mohican Valley and Southern Scenic Railway. And I hope you all have a good rest of the day. And for now, this is Brandon Railways signing off.